Hey guys, what is going on? It is Fro Boy. We're here to do another unboxing video. And good news, it's not a toy. It's not a morpher of any kind. It is a ranger helmet. And by my favorite uh, helmet maker, Common Rider Nimrai. Yeah, you guys can read, but yeah, I do appreciate the fact that he does label these. So, you know, if I get multiple p uh, packages, you know, I can immediately see this. So anyway, yeah, um, I just ordered this from uh, Comrade Nimroy a few days ago. Uh, the box is pretty good from what I can tell. But yeah, um, this is going to be another Ranger Helmet and let's see how it turns out. Um, you know what? I'm pretty sure for unboxing like this I'm going to have to stand here. So okay, uh, well time to cut this open. and. Uh, You know what? There, I just saved us five grueling minutes of me struggling to open a box. Yeah, you guys will appreciate that if you've seen any of my previous videos. Anyway, um, let's open this from uh, this side. And what do we have here? So as you can see, uh, so far we see a bit of orange. Maybe if you guys haven't read the title, which is impossible, you have an idea what this is. <laughs> this is the... This is the Tokyo 6 Ranger, <laughs> the Orange Ranger. As you guys recall from a previous video, I did buy the Morpher, and here's the actual helmet. Now, uh, there's an antenna and there's a 6 here. It came in this, likely. Uh, one more, guys. Uh, there's supposed to be a six here. There's no six. But nah, screw that. I'm just gonna continue on. <laughs> Anyway, um, I did a uh, message to uh, Kamarai Nimroy uh, regarding the 6. Uh, I was assuming there was going to be a Deso if he did not paint this on. But I will p post here in the video uh, what his response was. That being said, uh, when you look at this helmet, um, it does not leave a good impression. I'm sorry to say. As you, when you look ahead uh, perfectly, it pretty much uh, shows just how slanted the uh, railroad tracks are. And as you know, the theme of this uh, series being with uh, trains, it's supposed to uh, go around. And when you see that, it looks okay. Then you start to notice more and more flaws. And when you go here, you see how thick it is here and how thin it is there? It doesn't connect nor uh, bridge pretty well. Uh, not only that, um, if you just look at the paint, you know, there's some inconsistencies there. And uh, there's a chip here. See both of them? Yep, two chips there. And there's another one here. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, and uh, overall the paint is very inconsistent. Now, what does this say to me? This makes me believe, yeah, and you can see smudge uh, around the mouthpiece. This tells me that Kamarada Nimoy must have had this helmet uh, quite some time, uh, for quite some time, and he needs to offload it. In fact, uh, when I got this helmet, it was 200 US dollars. Yes, 200 dollars. Now, when I saw that price, I thought, well, he must be, uh, you know, trying to do a good sale to, or he's trying to do a special sale so he can offload a lot of helmets that he's been trying to get rid of uh, and he's had for a while. That's the impression I got. Uh, I was ignorant enough not to consider that maybe this could have been uh, helmets that were of a terrible grade. I mean, for one thing, uh, you already see some of the flaws in this. Um, when I was trying to install the uh, antenna accessory that uh, this ranger is known for having on top of his uh, helmet, 
it did give me a bit of a hassle. Like the mold was not matching. I had to like kind of uh, shape it out a bit, but it eventually fit after like 10 seconds of me doing that. Or five seconds, I don't remember, back to the video. And yeah, you can see uh, some more issues. There's some orange paint residue there, here. Yeah, overall, um, I'm really disappointed for a fresh impression because this does look pretty bad. Again, uh, this is better than what most people can do. But uh, yeah, you can just uh, tell like this is very different from any of the other helmets I normally get from him. You know, these were uh, helmets that he already had pre-made, but even they have were designed to a, a sense that like, yeah, he took a lot of pride into doing this, but this, he just had this uh, low quality helmet that he made and just lying around and then he sold it off. It was my fault. But yeah, uh, for the railroad systems, I will try to uh, fix up the track as much as I can, uh, you know, particularly with gluing this portion down so that it stays down. Uh, the thing I do like about this helmet is that it has a hinge That makes me happy like seriously. Um, I do like helmets with hinges. I got it with my uh, Super Mega Force Silver Ranger and This helmet also has it so I'm pretty happy about that now. I'm just gonna take off uh, My glasses Because I want more freedom in order to put into my head. I don't know how snugged or cozy this is gonna be and the cool thing is that there's no uh, pads in there, so I'm really thankful for Comrade Nimoy for not having any pads. I don't know, maybe he's been watching my videos and knows that I take off all the pads. But uh, yeah, I always take off the pads because m my head's way too big for my own good. And pretty much I can see and uh, better comfort just without the pads. I can't speak right today. There we go. Yeah, I feel bits of my hair just uh, being out. And, uh, you know, normally you wear sperm cap for these type of things, so it should be easier. And, uh... One thing I noticed about when putting on this helmet, it's actually pretty easy to put on. That's a good thing. I do appreciate that. Helmets, uh, Ranger helmets can be a pain in the ass to put on. You know, some are either too small than what uh, they originally made, especially if they're not customized to your liking. And some helmets, uh, they're designed oddly to the point where you struggle with them. And uh, yeah, this one has, uh, thankfully the hinge makes it extremely easy for me just to slide this into around my uh, head. Sorry, I can't talk today. I'm just like so baffled at the quality of this uh, helmet. Again, I'm not trying to bad mouth coming right anymore. I guess I was just disappointed because I legitimately like the guy. You guys know how much praise I give the guy. But yeah, uh, also another thing I noticed, um, if this wasn't too obvious, if you look here, the visor itself is like right here and it's kind of blended. Now it's pretty nice because, uh, you know, if it wasn't for the dirt that you see here, you, could, you wouldn't even know, be able to notice it at first uh, glance unless you, you know, took the time to look closely. That being said, um, I noticed that when you actually put on the helmet, he has a bit of a tunnel vision going on here. Uh, so about like that is the best vision you can see. And I don't know if it, he purposely designed it like that because, oh yeah, they're trains. Sometimes trains go into tunnels, so tunnel vision. I don't know. And um, yeah, the uh, visor, it, it kind of makes sense why he only did up to this length because you know, it wouldn't make any sense for it to go around here, especially when you can't turn your head inside the helmet. And uh, one thing that, um, I'm still bugged that there's no six here. You know, I'm probably gonna have to paint that or get a deso or something. I really don't know. I'm just gonna have to, uh, you know, figure out a way to get a six there. Uh, I'll come up with something if Kamen Rider uh, didn't, was actually not uh, gonna send me a deso and he just, uh, you know, said like, sorry, uh, you're supposed to uh, apply it yourself. He never mentioned that when I was buying it. He just insists that like, yes, the antenna would be included and so will the six. At least uh, the way how I asked him was like, will the six and the antenna be included? And he just said yes. So I don't know if he just mentioned the antenna or maybe he did forget to send a vessel for the six. So looking at this uh, helmet, I only paid $200 for it. It was pre-made. I ordered it uh, sometime mid last week and he mailed it uh, on Thursday. And today's Wednesday. But I got the helmet yesterday at work. I didn't go into work in, at the time because I had a watch again. 
those of you who don't know, I'm in the military. Sometimes I stand watch and I get days off the following uh, day if I stand watch uh, throughout the previous night. So that being said, it got here on Tuesday. So a few days of travel, not bad. Uh, as I mentioned before in the past, anything I order from uh, cosplay makers and they're actually ready to ship, they get here pretty quickly within uh, less than a week of business days. So looking at this, if I have to give this a rating, I'm gonna have to give this a low seven out of 10. Uh, this was only uh, $200 again. This wasn't one of those uh, helmets where you pay anywhere between $250 to like $375 or something along those lines. You know, this was uh, $200 and in hindsight, I should have taken more in consideration asking for more pictures regarding this because, you know, at first glance, it really did not look that bad. Um, you know, when I actually looked at this, I realized that I made a big mistake. This helmet, um, despite it not being uh, good quality, or at least to the quality standards that I was expecting. I'm still gonna display this. I'm not gonna send it back. Uh, again, I have a positive history of coming right meme right. This ain't so terrible that I'm gonna cry about it and be like, oh man, let me just break this or sell on eBay or, or something along those lines. I literally appreciate the work he does and I just like to think of this as, hey, it was an unfortunate mistake on my part. Uh, I haven't choose something and it's not his fault that I decided to buy this. Now, should I think that he should offload his lower quality tiers uh, helmets? Well, if he, as long as he keeps them low price, uh, people can't complain that much. I just hope that he shows like more honest pictures of the way how his uh, helmets look, especially if he's only charging 200 US American dollars. But yeah, guys, I give this a 7 out of 10. Uh, there are positives to this. It's easy to put on, thankfully, because of the hinge. As you can see there, the uh, paint came off when I started uh, opening it for the first time. Um, it's very comfortable to have on. Um, I get good ventilation. The uh, despite the tunnel vision that I get from the visor, it's still uh, pretty easy to see. Uh, it doesn't fog up. And overall, like um, I'm gonna be optimistic and see if there's a way for me to improve the quality of this uh, helmet. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any uh, comments, uh, concerns of any kind, you know, feel free to leave a comment down below the video. So, ciao for now.